Hello everyone, I am Venrith and welcome back to some more Mudrunner. So last time we played we managed to deliver some logs to the lumber mill. Um, so the next thing to do now is drive all the way back. Now on my way back I'm wondering if we could pull the short log trailer back out with the E7310. Uh, and maybe give it a second go with that, I'm not sure. Because then I could do it all with one run, otherwise I've got to make two runs. So. I think the main thing now is drive that back, get across to here, and then we'll have a little look. So let's stop the engine. Lights on. Park break off. Uh, let me just set some waypoints. Down there. Down there. Down there. And then down to there. Okay. Right, we're off. Am I going the right way? Probably not. No, I'm not. There we go. That's a good start, isn't it? Straight away lost. I think I might... Hang on. Which way am I going? No, I think I was right in the first place. It is this way. I'm getting confused by the waypoint on the minimap Ooh, bouncy bouncy through the puddle uh, a bit all wheel drive just going through the water because it just makes life a little bit easier Doing all right for fuel. All wheel drive off. There we go. Tease it out. Sometimes just letting off the accelerator and then uh, pressing it back down again can just give you just a little bit of grip. Just enough to get you going. Oh, uh, diff lock is on and getting overheated. Right, get onto the road, okay. Not for very long, then we've got to turn off. Right, let's go for it. How long can I keep the momentum up for? Bit diff lock on. Oh, yes. Uh, that's as far as I can get. for the spruce. Right, 
Right, we're going down here. To, almost at the water. Then comes the fun part of trying to cross the river again. Yeah, not as close to the river as I thought it was. Yeah, back and sinking quite a bit there. There we go. Straight down the hill. Okay, so now we've about reached the river. It's now a case of trying to find my way back across. Once I get out of this puddle. Yeah, puddle will drive on a bit quicker. Right. Let's have a look. From what I remember, I still think that actually looks shallower than trying to go through there, but I think I went to there. Then I went to there. Um, Oh dear, I got there. I think I went that way, didn't I? That looks more like it. Okay. Let's get a nice screenshot. Lovely. I can break off. And let's give it another go. And straight away dangerous water level. Now my, my thought process is if we can pull out the oh bloody hell, that's not good. If we can pull out the trailer wagon. There's a slight potential for hooking it back up and then repairing this vehicle and then just dragging it through the water with the bigger vehicle. Uh, where are we going? Oh, bloody hell, with miles, of course. Now that's fraught with dangers as well because it could easily just get washed away. I 
Uh, which side of this truck is safer, do you think? This side, I think. I say it looks safe, I don't <laughs> Not necessarily sure it is safer. All right, let's plan the rest of the route. So when I go up to there, across to there, and then sort of Diagon Alley. It might work, it might not work. It'd be interesting to say the least. Uh, slight issue with that plan. It is kind of, shall we say, upside down. Yes. Technical issues, that's what we'll call it. Technical issues. Okay. Change truck. Let's see what we can do, see if we can pull it out. Now this is in itself pretty risky because I think the water's quite deep here. And although this is a bit of a beast, it can still have issues as you can easily see. I would take a bit of damage out. Look at that back go under. Right. Can I attach the winch? I can. Right, reverse. Come here, truck. You come in with me. Oh my word, that's deep at the back there. before it breaks give me a little bit more height that should do it okay I took a fair bit of damage doing that And after everything, it could be all for nothing, but we'll see. Tell you, this is beast, this is. In the real world, that would be massively damaged by now. Uh, let's release the winch. And then we'll attach it to there. Let's see what happens. Yes! at work. Okay, let's release the winch. Knock this out of the way. Hmm, there is an option. I could just take this all the way across. And the truck. 
Hmm. Ooh, that's an interesting idea. Has this got a tow bar on it? That's a question. Mm -hmm. It's got something on there. Let's have a look. I just wonder if I could, like... Yank this. Um... Oh, yes. Hey. Look at this. Then, what we do... Jump onto this one. Attach a winch to there. Uh, switch. Uh, switch to pull. Switch to drive. Don't know if this is going to work or not. Is it released? I think it's released. bit of a train going on. And get this ready for some more logs. K700. It's unless we've got some short logs on there actually. We have cool. Alright, try and reverse up to these. Get it right. Switch to the loader. Switch back from the loader. Uh, reverse back. Okay, try and just go and try and put these logs in on these wagons. Start with this one, I think, at the back.
Okay. You like that? That looks good to me. Perfect. Uh, exit loader. Four, three, ten. Can we pack this? I have to stop the engine, probably. Or oh, something's blocking the area. That'd be the K seven hundred. Loader in position ready so I can get on pretty well to that. Awesome. Right, down. Wrap. Up. Four logs. Perfect. Not much fuel left either. Get this lined up. That's about right. Load up, over, empty, back out. Get out of the way a bit. Change truck. Uh, how do we even move the camera to the, of the vehicle? Start the engine. Pack. Okay. Now, here comes the fun bit. Touch winch. Is that the back of the... Let's see whether that was the back of the trailer or not. Alright. Touch winch. Oh, annoying. If the mouse it takes it off, um, oh, come on, let me, well, let me turn the blue camera now, will it? Does it not let me move the camera while in winch mode? Right. Okay. Let's go. This might not work. You have been warned, it probably will not work. I 
I might have to do these two separate actually. Ooh, I'm running into there. Uh, yeah, okay. Tell you what. Release the winch. Let's uh, get out of this pickle first. Let's go in automatic. Let's do a 1600 point turn. I'm trying not to, like, depart that trailer. K700 without having to move it? I think so. Uh, just the bit where I came in. It was over here, wasn't it? I'm sure it was over here. For the other truck in the water. This is going to be interesting, to say the least. What I might end up doing is pulling this trailer across with this, then bring the other truck across, or vice versa, and then hooking it up right at the other side. Top engine. So C four thirteen ten that one. Right, reverse. And off we go. Now what I'm going to do while I'm here is I'm going to use this wagon that's here to just refuel and repair. Because let's be honest, this truck that I'm driving at the minute it seems to be the one that I seem to be doing all the work with. So, change truck. Spare wheel, repair that a little bit. Garage utility tent. Uh, repair that. Yes. Fuel. Uh, repair. Uh, refuel, sorry. There we go. Change truck. Now, I've got bugger all damage and plenty of fuel. I think it might be a bit too risky to take both over at the same time with it on the winch. I think it'd be better taking this one across and then bringing the other one across afterwards. To be honest, that one, the big beast isn't actually that tall, is it? It's not that tall at all. Yeah. Okay. So, this is going to be the interesting bit. Can I make it across to there? With both. So I thought if I drive that across, get to there, and then take the other one across with the trailer, as long as I can get it to about there, I can then unhook the trailer and then equip, hook it back up to the normal lorry and then just deliver the points. In theory, of course, it could go 
the same way that my last attempt with the trailer went and horribly horribly wrong um we'll have to see um but for now i think i'll leave that on a bit of a cliffhanger will it won't will it will it work won't it work who knows you'll have to find out next time bye for now